Hello friends, welcome back on my channel. Thank you for tuning in. The alert viewer might have noticed that I'm using a different coil today. This is one out of two new high frequency coils XP offers for the Deos. It's this one, the 9 inch HF coil and the HF elliptical coil. These coils are specialized in finding small, thin sectioned and even low conductive metals in highly mineralized soils. Perfect for nugget hunting for example. I've bought this coil because ancient settlement grounds can be as badly mineralized as auriferous black sands due to centuries of burning processes and iron corrosion residues. I hope this coil will find me my long-awaited gold coin. As a Expedios user you will know about the excellent performance of the Goldmax power program with its 18 kHz. I've made some fantastic finds using it on my challenging ancient settlement sites. Today I set the machine on 54 kHz because I'm interested in the change of performance compared to the 18 kHz. It should be even more sensitive. With a new 9 inch high frequency coil you have the choice between 14.4 28.8 and 54 kilohertz. In expert mode you have a further seven higher or lower subfrequencies to choose from, allowing a much wider adjustment range. I found a little ring. As you can see it's uh, not a very valuable um, ring. I think uh, the stone, the gemstone is made out of glass um, and the size um, yeah, speaks for a children's ring. Um, I can't date it, it uh, is uh, not very easy but um, according to the patina I would say that it has to be 1800s, maybe early 1900s. But uh, <laughs> I always like to find rings. It's, uh, always exciting. This little find was impressingly deep down. Um, it's a watch winder uh, made out of a copper alloy. Uh, you can see iron, uh, quite a lump on it, which makes it uh, not easy for the detector to uh, distinguish whether it's um, a good find or not. But uh, the machine gave me a clear reading and a good signal, so um, it's a great find. It's a pipe stem and uh, as you can see it is quite uh, ornate. It has veins on it, uh, leaves, um, must have been a very posh uh, pipe back then. And it is uh, quite thick and uh, that indicates that it is old. The thinner ones are uh, the later ones. Um, I always like to find them because uh, as I said many times before uh, these are good indicators for human activity.
I have made a fantastic find. It's a pin, a cloak pin. I'm chuffed. <laughs> but um, it's uh, very sad that the cloak pin head is missing. And not only because uh, the item isn't complete, also because I'm not able to define uh, the pin properly now. Uh, the pin head is the most beautiful part of this uh, cloak pin and uh, they come in different sizes, shapes and designs and as I said they uh, indicate um, the age of the item and the origin. Yeah, I guess uh, it is uh, Celtic or Roman because I'm in an uh, ancient uh, area here but it could also be early medieval so um, I will never be sure but uh, hopefully I can find the pinhead because sometimes they are quite large and uh, therefore easy to detect. <laughs> oh, beautiful, great, it's a long time ago, uh, this has to be a Roman coin, um, a Roman minim, yeah it has to be, uh, it's uh, this green patina, this shape, this uh, lumpy appearance, oh great, first the pinhead and now this, uh, this gives me hope. Maybe this field got a proper ancient history. Uh, I'm hoping so, <laughs> but it's, uh, oh, I'm so happy. I hope more of these follow now. Okay, um, looks like a wing, um, but I'm not sure because as you can see there seem to be icons as well, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, these are leaves, oak leaves, but um, they also look like feathers so it's hard to tell, um, it's hard to tell in general what this is. <laughs> Uh, but I think it has to be a military background. Um, you often find uh, things like these um, on military badges. Um, I hope uh, I will be able to find out what it is.
I'm pretty sure I found a coin here. First I thought it might be a button as well with a missing shank. Uh, but um, as you can see there's a hard crust on it. Um, I can't tell what it is exactly. I would reckon it could be a coin from the mid 1800s, maybe a hello or a fennish. Fantastic, it's another salt spoon. Um, I found one in my last video and this one is gilded as well. Uh, you can see it shining. But it's in a horrible state, unfortunately. Uh, look how coiled it is. Um, but it's remarkable to find uh, the second one on this field. Um, I think uh, it's one of these fields where uh, the people brought their household litter um, in order to fertilize uh, the fields and uh, everything that got lost uh, in the household ended up on these fields so that's uh, one of the many explanations why you can find things uh, like this spoon on a remote field like this one We have a coin or button situation here. Let's see what it is together. I can't see a shank. Um, <clears throat> I can't even see the remains of a shank, like a lump or something in the middle of uh, the disc. <laughs> uh, so I reckon it's a coin. Um, I don't know what kind of coin it could be because uh, the thickness and uh, the size um, isn't familiar to me. Uh, maybe an exciting foreign coin? I hope so. pretty sure I found the silver coin. It's very thin and uh, it shines in places. Unfortunately there's a chunk missing and uh, it seems to be quite fresh. Uh, the farmer went over this field with a rototiller uh, two days ago to shred uh, uh, the canola stubble and I can imagine that it uh, happened uh, there. It's a, it's a shame. Uh, I'm looking forward to cleaning it. Uh, it could be quite old. <laughs> you won't believe what I just found. Two steps away from the spot where I found the silver coin. <laughs> believe it or not, I found the fragment. Listen to the signal it gave. Beautiful was uh, quite a task to find it, as you can imagine, but uh, it fits perfectly, as you can see. Um, it's the missing part, and uh, now that I found uh, the missing part, I'm even more uh, sure about the fact that this is a silver coin, but because it got a beautiful serrated um, silver shiny edge, 
so I'm uh, chuffed to bits about this find. Wow, there's an interesting surface find. Take a look. Let's see what it is together. This has to be ancient. It's uh, some kind of rivet. Um, you can see the pin going through the other part and someone hammered the bronze down so it couldn't go back. Um, it reminds me on some kind of loop. Uh, maybe it was a belt attachment so that you could hook in something um, down here. It's only a guess. Um, it could be a, a belt mount of uh, decorate purposes. Um, I think you will know these uh, lovely Roman propeller mounts. I found one a couple of years ago. Maybe this is um, a modest version of something like that, I don't know, but uh, it's definitely ancient and uh, <laughs> it's a great find. I found the next coin. It's a very thin copper coin and uh, therefore I think that there won't be much to see on this one. It's uh, amazingly thin, but uh, you never know. I like this field, um, even though the finds are few and far between. My last find uh, is this Roman Minim and as you can see there's a thick crust on it. Um, I'm not sure whether I will be able to remove it at home because I only use water and a soft toothbrush. Uh, but most of the times uh, these crusts have to be removed mechanically and I can't do it because I didn't learn it so I have to leave it uh, to the professionals uh, but we will see maybe I can present you some details on this coin I had fun using my new high frequency coil and the results are quite convincing. I think the machine was a bit unchallenged though. This field is fairly clean and unproblematic. I know that there will be occasions on which the coil will prove its full potential. 
If only I had this coil earlier this year when I was volunteering on a Roman camp excavation. The soil conditions were miserable. I've made some beautiful finds there, but I'm sure that I would have been able to pull much more with this HF coil. Until next time, I wish you good luck and happy hunting. Bye bye, au revoir and auf Wiedersehen.